we go. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another Train to the World free live stream. The second one of the day. Uh, we're going to go from Bremen to uh, Oldenburg. Then we'll go back from Oldenburg back to Bremen. Uh, probably in the cab car, maybe the 101. Not really too sure yet. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's get the uh, train set up. See, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to uh, show it off. Uh, let's do a bit of that. There you go. Yeah, back again on it. Um, do that. A little bit laggy at Bremen, but it's only this is really the only laggy part of the route Bremen. The rest runs well, 60 as it should. Uh, let's get the the headlights are on the back panel. They're already on. Uh, so we've got PZB, LZB, and CFA. They need to go on. And there goes a 185. Look at that. Hopefully the uh, cars, not the coloured cars, because the cars actually now have colour. Some of some of them. We've got NG Power, Gregory and Biggs. How are you all doing? Cool. And yeah, we will be putting the Steam code in at some point. Why is the chat not coming up on the uh, YouTube chat? It's been a bit funny. Hopefully it's alright. Yeah, seems alright. Weird. Not too long, and we're only calling at De Delmanhorst and Hood on this service. I guess Oldenburg again, well, half an hour's time. So this is one of the faster services on the route, this one, which you can uh, conduct. Let's get that down a bit. We don't really need it that high, do we? Yeah, let's get them down. don't think it's actually making much of a difference, but, yeah. They're down a little bit. And we are in the 110. Left the chat's not showing up. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, hello, Para. Good to see you, Biggs. Gregory, how are you? Pet. It's doing that weird glitch where it doesn't show up on the YouTube chat. It just shows up on the Streamlabs chat. Which is weird. Let's get the uh, doors shut. Release all of the brakes. Oh, no. Not, not that. Um, wait for that to come off. Set that to forward. And whack it into seven. There we go. Right, there we go. The chat's on there now. Good. Right, let's get out of it. You gotta wait for it to sort of turn on first. A bit like the ice one, you sort of put the accelerator on and then it doesn't actually do anything for sort of the first few seconds. There's the map. Bremen there. Uh, Hood up there. And Oldenburg over there. There it is. Not the most wriggly of routes. catch that signal there. I think it was alright though. And you can't let the amps or the killer newtons go above 60 otherwise the train gets very unhappy. So we don't want that to happen. There we go. You've got a 425 coming along. Nice to see. I think you can leave the single unit 425s. I don't know if there is any doubles. There's that. Looks decent this route, considering I don't take much attention on continental routes such as this, but I should do after seeing this. Lovely. We've done quite a lot of it today. It was ages ago since we did the last stream. It was like yesterday we did it, even though it was, well, two hours ago. Oh, this is the really slow bit out of Bremen. It's quite a weird bit as well. I know, just coming out of a, a massive main station, just onto it's just a weird bit of route. This bit, sort of tucked away. I don't know. It's a weird approach. Let's see for again. So we got all the safety systems on. On here. Round we go. Lovely. That's flashing down there. So we've got a nice evening run. Well, late afternoon run, I'd say not really evening. Uh, 
about those killer newtons. I'm probably about to shoot her. Maybe. Maybe not. They can't release the uh, PZB just yet. So yeah, the killer newtons can't go above 60 on there, otherwise you're in big trouble. It is overhead, yeah. I'm just going to wait for that restriction to go. Should hopefully go fairly soon. Well, it is flashing 85, which I think so we can actually go up to 85 when it flashes. Oh, it's gone now, so there we go. Up to 60. There's a lot to pay attention on this route to. Killer Newton speed. What tap you're in as well. Especially if you're doing hardless, it would be quite a difficult route to do. This is quite cool coming across here though. Quite impressive. There it goes. And the C4 actually is silent, so I'm going to spam Q. So I bet that will bloody go off. For the bridge, how does it work? What, the Oldenburg lift bridge? Yeah, it just does it automatically. Uh, at 22 each hour. Not bang on 22, but near enough. So you've just got to wait and then you can see the magic. Let's get that back on. Start warming that up again. Uh, that should be alright. I might actually go all the way up to 28. I might do alright with that. I'm not even looking at the speed, I'm just looking at that dial there to see what that's doing. We ain't getting there in three, that four minutes. The timetable is quite tight on here. It seems almost a bit too tight, especially as we've been following the limits. But I mean, it's probably set off the realistic one, so. Well, it is set off the real one. Cool. And up to 140. Another way when you do the uh, change the chat change, you can hear something in the back sort of clicking as it changes. Like that. Connection with the loco. See for again. So usually we do the slow one along here. Uh, this is I think our first time actually doing the fast one, or fast-ish one. They're going at our top speed at 140. Just coast for now. We've got eight kilometres. Yeah, this is the DBBR110.3. Well, even that's it on the front, it has dot four, so I don't know uh, if that's just the way it is. Hello, senseless. How are you? Some sort of German number in there. Uh, this came out today, uh, but yeah, today, I mean, it's just come out on Steam, ahead, or near an hour, or slightly later. Yeah, it's because our max speed on this train's 140. That's why. So we, we just can't go above it, you can see 140 over there. I oh, know, where does it say 140? There, 140. Five kilometres, we might actually get there on time. I'd be surprised. It would be quite good if we did. We might. Bits of Yeah, we are going to be giving away a stinky in today's uh, stream. OK. 
courtesy of Dovetail Games. So yeah, in this one we'll probably just stay, well we'll do this and maybe go in the M-Wagon. Uh, well I wouldn't really mind going in the 101. Which is just one of the layers to the route. Awesome uh, power. This begins with a H, this station. I can't remember the exact name. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. It's got a weird shape to it, hasn't it, the front? It's, uh, yeah. I mean, when it's raining as well, it's going to be quite hard to see because you're sort of looking there, whereas the wipe is a bit more over to the right. Sort of dirt here as well, you can see. That's a right pet. Fair enough. Huda, Hudda, I don't know how you say it. I'll say it my way. We'll just let it coast. I mean, it's not too far to Delman Horse now. Probably the only station I can probably maybe pronounce correctly. It probably isn't Delman Horse. We'll go with it. Right, let's uh, start getting on the uh, that one. Start slowing down. Who <laughs> that? Maybe. Who that? Not a bad one. Not a bad one. How you doing, NG? So you can hear that the click as we uh, let when we take off the brake or we'll put it on. You can sort of hear it behind you. I think you can hear the game audio as well. I think you should be able to. Just keeping the a uh, little bit more. No more breakage. Nice and steady. I'm slowly improving on this loco. There's no stop marker. I mean, you could, you could stop where it wants you to on the objective, but there is no stop marker. So just, well, when you think you're in, really. So that is probably, probably one of our best stops we've had. There we go. That's not bad, does it? Oh, that awesome. And off this is Huda, <laughs> um, which we drew there at 12 past. So probably be, end up being about 13, 14 past, so in about nine minutes. So that's sort of the first third of the route. And then the next third would be going over to uh, Huda. And you can turn on the train lights, you just have to do it inside the uh, end wagon. Let's go. Say its name properly. Huda. Huda. There you go, Huda. Slowly start building it up. Just slowly. So you don't want to overcharge it. If you overcharge it, you're going to break the circuit breaker, and then well, you, then you have to close it again, and then that just takes time. Well, not really, but if you do overcharge it, just come down to uh, to uh, where is it on this one? Uh, here, the main circuit breaker, and just set it to closed, and then it will reset it. German person coming about, that's not how you say it, who that. <laughs> that's the museum down there. 
as if you've got the DBBR 363, or actually the DBB, the Deutsche Bundesbahn 363 from Nebuchadnezzar Dresden, you get museum runs. So you can run um, two end wagons, two of them together, back to back, uh, and then the 363. Sort of from Bremen to there, and then you drop them off. Which is something quite cool to see. Yeah, speeding up, the next stop something camp. We're gonna be going through it. Keep the tap charger on a little bit. Yeah, something camp this one. Cloffin camp or something. Quaker camp. That one. There you go, coast along. And there's another station about two kilometres round the corner. Shalcrow or something? It begins with an S. I think. He says. So we've probably been near enough halfway on the journey now. It doesn't take long to get from one end to the other. A slow service is about 45 minutes and a fast one, 25 to 30 minutes. So I think a long hit actually is 160, but yeah, we can only go 140. Lovely senseless. Because the 140 is, no, the 110 is slow. Who the? Okay. Well, this is fairly close to the Netherlands, isn't it? Power over this way. Oldenburg. I don't think it's too far. Have you ever been over this way, Power? There's a 612. I don't know this way, I thought they only went from uh, Dormanhurst. Maybe they do go a bit further. Six kilometres, let's get that up again. Let's try and be on time. Try our best to be. We've got 110 kilometres already. Been more in uh, Münster. Lovely. Oh, this one's but this one's but book for Berg, isn't it? Book off Berg, book off Berg. Yeah, book Berg. We might get in time. Actually, probably not. It'd be a miracle if we do. Yeah, long we go. So we'll go back after this. Um, maybe in the same train. Where's this train actually go? Oh, it goes to Norddeutsch Mall. Probably not then. But we'll take it. If there's another train going back, we'll just hop in there. Three kilometers. Fairly good speed at the moment, just coasting along. It's got a nice sound to it, although I have had there is an audio glitch at the moment, I think on last gen, uh, where there's like a track joint sounds but like eight times sped up pretty much as I think yeah clack 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 as you go along I'm sure that would be so weird oh 
not too far to Huda now. Or Huda. It's a nice little run. Now it starts slowing down. The brakes on here are okay. So you have to get used to them, but they are okay. But if you put too much on too quick, it would, it, it's really hard to take off, so you've got to sort of time it correctly. So we'll release that. Hello, LaserJet, how are you? And we are actually arriving at 12 past. I'll take that as being on time. We're not stopped at 12 past, but we've arrived in at 12. See, so we're slowly learning. Now we've got to try not to overshoot. I'm sure Laser Jet would very much enjoy that. And that little buzz there apparently is to remind you to open the doors. It's like the silliest thing, but yeah. So make sure you open the doors. Yeah, there's no stop marker here, so I suppose it's just when you know you're in the platform, which we are, so. And this is where you can like, turn on the lights as well. There's a panel uh, somewhere. They do make a funny noise, don't they? Can we fly in and do it? Oh, we can. Great. Yeah, you can click that button there. And there you go, lights. Right, it's Oldenburg next in 16 kilometres. I think once we get there, we'll put the steam code into the chat. Hello, David. What's that noise? M wagon sounds. They have a language of their own. <laughs> Maybe the MR and coaches are talking to each other. That was the noise you heard. Oh, that was close to overcharging it. You've got to be quite careful. Then obviously you don't want to go too slow. What do I like about this DLC? I like the challenge about it. I mean, these trains aren't really easy to drive. I mean, they're not like hard hard to drive but there is you know probably the more challenging of German trains to drive so I sort of like that about it it's quite unique like route wise I wouldn't really say it's an exciting route with you know great scenery and vistas and massive hills but the thing what makes it cool is the sort of I know that old classic experience alongside modern trains yeah, it's, it's challenging, which is fun. Let's get that up. So if you're looking for a challenge, well, this route is probably quite good for you. If you don't really like a challenge, you don't like tough trains, then probably not. So there's one station, I think it's a Wunster, Wunst, uh, which is in between uh, Huda and Oldenburg. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's different because most of the German stuff does tend to be, you know, the new shiny stuff. But this is, uh, well this is, this is old school. It's even got a whistle like that. It sounds like a bloody yeah, one steam train with that. And can we try and get up to 20 likes? Thanks all for coming in. Let's check out the new barn strecker, Bremen to Oldenburg. Obviously, big fans of Dovetail for giving us a key to show it off. Which we've done quite a lot of it so far. I started playing it. What was it about? Yeah, about half five yesterday. I've spent 
quite a few hours on it so far. If you already own lots of German TSW fit, yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you do own other German roofs, a lot of it does come onto here. I probably could turn off the HUD speeder, but I'll keep it on for now. Oh, I see, uh, David. I think I know what that is. That's quite a nice journey. So I, I guess we're going the M Walker next. There's an M Walker just there. So we'll go on the M Walker back, and then that'll be it. A slightly shorter one to earlier. Sort of just there and back. Hello, Eddie. How are you? So if you want to see the BR155 and the DBBR425. Uh, we did that on the last stream and also as videos, so feel free to check them out if you want to see those two. And then tomorrow's video will be in the DBBR 612 on this route, so the tilting train from Dresden to Chemnitz. We'll be playing that on here. This is Vinster. It's staggered platforms here, and they can open up the level crossing. Although, what was that camp? Oh, what was it? I can't remember the, the camp station. It's weird that one. It's sort of the wrong way round the platforms. Um, yeah, it's sort of the wrong way round. Well, obviously, it, it's like that realistically, but for the level crossing, sort of say. got the dressing cabinets through. If you get that installed power, you'll see the 612 on this route. Hello Eddie, how are you? As we get there, uh, yeah, the first thing you're going to do with this train is go full power and break it. Yeah, it's it's easy to do that. It's not not difficult. Hello, Alfie. It's very easy to break this train. Steam and you want it on Steam, there is a code there. Four kilometres. That is very much thanks to Dovetail Games. Right, we'll be slowing down soon. And do let me know if you do get it as well. But yeah, we gave away the Xbox code earlier. And that went to Epic112, I think his name was. Um, so yeah, congrats to him. Hello, Will. What, the stream or the code? <laughs> that was very quick then. Let's put that down. You got it. <laughs> you got a fight. Okay. Let's uh, pop that down. 
Yeah, it comes down. Awesome, Adam, mate. There you go, congrats to Adam. I'm quite happy he's actually got the key because he's helped me out quite a lot over the last few months with uh, work and other bits and bobs. It's good on you. Quickest I've ever moved. <laughs> But it's good because both of the code receivers have actually come back and said, I've got it. As we had it last time when we gave away a code for the Cross City, I think it was the PlayStation 4 one, and no one said they actually got it. Although it was activated though, so awesome. Well, do thank Dovetail Games uh, for the key, specifically Alex. As Alex said, he'd, um, he'd have a little word and see if he could get a couple of keys. Uh, no, it's not my full-time job. I multitask. I've got this, got college, and also other work as well. What should I be doing on that? Oh, look at the lights around here. It's really good. Um, yeah, I'll be working this weekend on Saturday and Sunday at Brighton. Uh, if you're in Brighton this weekend, you, you might see me. A couple of people are actually seeing me now. Down there. Down in Brighton. And this is uh, Oldenburg, which we are coming into. Fair enough, power. I mean, you get four trains, so it's not bad. And especially if you've got the other German routes, there'll be layers as well. So yeah, that buzz there apparently tells us that we need to open the doors. Because apparently the DBBR101 has it as well, but it's just the guy who shouts at you. Um, so it's quite weird. And this is uh, Oldenburg. There's a 101 there. So if you spawn at Oldenburg within the next 15 minutes, you will see the bridge going up and down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, NG, yeah, yeah. Rub it in. Well, this time it's still with the buses. So I don't know how it's going to work this time. Probably be out in the car park. It's supposed to snow as well. So that's going to be... Uh... Actually, I'm looking forward to it. Although football's on to the Saturday night, so if that goes... Bad, then it's not going to be great on Sunday. But oh well. Then after that, my free bridges. Which is probably my favourite place to be. Here we are. Well, we made it, and this then goes to uh, Norddeutsch Mole. Fair enough, David. That was alright. Right, let's. Um, what we'll do is we'll have a look to see... Oh, I bet that train's just left, hasn't it? That's a 612, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally just left. That would have been the next one out. Well, let's have a look to see when that 101 leaves. Oh, well, you know what, we're... Um, we'll go in the M-Wagon. Let's go back to the main menu. To the trains, pick a route. Bremen Oldenburg. Uh, see you, Para. Thanks for coming in, mate. Take care. Uh, Enwagen. So you can see all the possible trains you can have on this route. So quite a lot. Obviously, the only ones you get with the DLC are the 110, the 425, the 155 in the press blue livery, and uh, the Enwagen. Enwagen. And we are going to do a fast service again. Um, should we do a morning one? No, I did that one yesterday. I would do that one, 8.33. Uh, let's set to dynamic weather. And we'll go. So it might even start snowing. Which would be cool. Right, let's... Uh 
get the uh, door, hang on, yeah, right, Oldenburg, let's uh, get the doors open, right, should open, hey Theo, how are you mate, look, we're in a bus, <laughs> well, not really, but the front is bus-like, um, I don't think Hanover's actually on the board, so I'll just have to set it to Bremen, don't really know why it's not there, but no, we'll set it to Bremen, Bremen. Uh, let's uh, put that in. I've already forgot how we bloody. Oh, yeah, that one goes like that. Desk light on. I was only literally driving this earlier. Uh, train lights on. And then we come over to here. And we put that to headlights. And then the PZB's here as well. PZB on. And then CIFA is down here. That's not a bus. Well, I mean, it's got a bus ish front. It's got bus doors. You can open them up as well. Which is quite cool. So we should have the 110 on the back, which hopefully does have its tail lights on. If not, I'll have to go all the way back there. It doesn't. Right, back we go then. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? There. And the headlights surprisingly aren't on the front desk if you want well the tail lights as well they're on the back panel so you can sort of tell which ones are the tail lights these red ones there you go sit that down and there so they should now be on there you go not bad very weird high pitched noise it makes so we've got Huda, Delman Horse, then Bremen at 9.05. So again, another half an hour. And we shall be there. Let's get the doors closed. At some point, you might actually see Amanda on the stream. She should be turning up fairly soon. Set it to forward. Uh, release the brakes. Yeah, release. And this is where it's slightly more interesting. I'll explain it again. But... We're obviously controlling the rear loco, and the rear loco is a tap change in one. So, well, let's put it into hold. So, pretty much, you're holding the steering wheel at the moment. And then to turn it, say if we're in the other loco, you set it to run up. So, run up is pretty much the same as turning the wheel in the rear loco. Although, the only difference is you don't get a tap change uh, indicator, so you can't actually see what one you're in. Obviously, if you were doing hudless. So yeah, pretty much rotating the wheel, making it go up. And then run down is obviously to do it the other way. For less power. So it's probably more challenging on, on in the MWARG than what it is in the 110. Fair enough. I mean, they're always on, they always really frequently go on sale, don't they? A bit like what uh, Colonel's, uh, Colonel, Colonel Failure said. He said... You know, you don't have to get there when it first comes out. And, well, they, they they go on sale very regularly on PlayStation and Steam. Not too sure about Xbox, but that's just Microsoft being funny. Hey, Dean, how are you? Uh, who made this route and train? This is by Dovetail Games, and it costs $29.99. Uh, although you do get four trains, you get the M wagon, the one we've just driven. Oh, oh, right, that's annoying. Oh wow, that really does. Well, break tech, break. Oh, wow, that really did go for it. We went above 45 there without um, releasing ourselves from PZB. It happens, and that's having a hissy fit. Oh no, no, it was going there. That's a good start coming out of Oldenburg, isn't it? The last one was perfect with the PZB. This one, it's like, nah. Uh, so you get, yeah, what was M Wagon, the DBBR 110, which is this one, which is old school. And then you also get the 155, which is usually in the yard. Yeah, so you get this train here, which looks really cool. And the other one, which is the 425, which we won't see just yet. Fair enough, Dean. Where are you being off to today? Yeah, I'm all good. I've just overcharged it. 
So the M wagon is probably my least favourite thing to drive because it's so annoying. Uh, it overcooks itself really easily. My favourite probably actually is the 110. I really do like driving the 110. Fair enough, Theo. See, the key to this one is to get it not above 50 kilonewtons, I think it is. So look at this gauge here. Don't get it above 50 like that. You want a bit of leeway. Oh, this bridge will be going up soon as well. Relatively soon it will go up. Let's run that up a little bit more. There we go. And again, get that up. Yeah, so don't get the killer newtons above 50 on here because it can all of a sudden just jump straight up above 60 and then we overload it like we just did. So it's a very annoying train at times. Yeah, it does feel, yeah. If you haven't seen actually, the bridge we just went across actually lifts up and down. Which I thought was really cool. Fifteen kilometers. There you go. Max now. Hello Joseph, how are you? Newcastle to London, King's Cross and back. Nice seven hour shift done, wow. I thought you only went up north uh, towards um, Edinburgh, Dean. Or is that sort of what you started with? And now you can now go down there as well. Must be a lovely journey though. I, just, I know, seeing the difference as well, sort of of the people when Newcastle to, to London. Strong Geordie accent as opposed to a Cockney accent. What are you in, Dean? An IET today? So that probably is really the only thing, really. Thirteen kilometres. best way to describe it would it's not anything exciting like route wise you know it's not like a quadruple track mainline trains flying all over the place but then the thing what makes this route is probably it's just I know sort of the uniqueness of it you know you get this really old old stuff you know the M wagon and the 110 running alongside the proper sort of modern 425 and yeah sort of that unique thing about it and sort of quite I know it's got a bit of a charm to it so yeah scenery wise it's not that exciting but then it's replicating the realistic route so but the thing what makes it is that charm between running the really old stuff with the new stuff I like that I suppose it is quite a nice sort of half an hour run from one end to the other and you can stay on the same train most of the day. Um, if you were doing Oldenburg to Bremen on the stopper, which is about 45 minutes. Well, there, yeah, give it a couple of weeks, sir. And if we're still playing it lots in a couple of weeks, then I'm probably very much enjoying it. 
like with the Cross City, we played it for about two weeks straight. And people were saying, can you stop playing it and play something else? Fair enough here. Correct name, who dat? There we go. And if you're looking for a challenge, Theo, this route, these trains. What do I need to watch? So the power, the power doesn't go out. Uh, oh yes, the killer Newtons. Do you see the blue bar next to the HUD? I mean, I prefer looking on there as you can sort of see it much easier when it's about to shoot up. Um, so if you're in this, um, yeah, if you're in this uh, laser jet, look for that bar just there where the cursor is, and make sure it doesn't go above 50. So slowly hold it so it goes up. Um, yeah, make sure it doesn't go above 50. So pretty much where the big two is, make sure it doesn't go above there. It was meant to be off today, but took over someone else's shift, and it's a lovely run, especially with sunrise and sunset, back to running between Edinburgh and Doncaster on Thursday. So you were like a route master, dude. <laughs> the whole East Coast mainline. Wow. Fair enough, Joseph. One day, Dean, I'll go on your train one day. I'll do a stream from your train. TSW on the train. Oh, about the 110, don't get it above 60. So you should have a dial on the uh, on the 110. So just don't, well, make sure it doesn't go above 60. Now we've got Northern Transpennine and Tees Valley for you. That's more than any other country for sort of 80 stuff. I mean, Clinchall Railroad, that's set in the late 70s. Um, so, well, we're doing quite good for that. Yeah, congrats again to Epic and Adam for winning the. Uh, how much does this cost? Twenty nine ninety nine in pounds for winning the giveaway today. Obviously, one for the Xbox code and one for the Steam key or Steam code uh, for the route. So that was courtesy of Dovetail Games. So very nice. Of run that down. That's not too far to Houdat. We should just stick to calling it that on streams. And the brakes on this route, I like braking on this one. The brakes are alright. Adventure in the beloved 315 yesterday, lovely. So have they gone now then, 315's pet, or are they still going on? I think they're gone now, aren't they? Oh, I see, yeah, uh, Dean. What about speed limits as well? Is that the same to tell you what the speeds are coming up? So pretty much you get a hub then for the, for the distance. Still learning Doncaster to King's Cross. That's quite a stretch, isn't it? To learn. How long have you sort of got to learn that, or do you not really have like a a set time? It's sort of just learn it in your own time. I thought it was six weeks. I, I got told from one of the southern sort of uh, driver people. Well, I suppose for London King's Cross to Peterborough, you've got the uh, lovely ATS King's Cross King's Lynn, which then adds that bit in if you've got Peterborough to Cambridge.
It really does really put the brakes on, doesn't it? <laughs> when you're at about below sort of 10. Here we are, though. And the next one after this is Delmenhorst. So we are around 20 minutes, I'd say, out of Bremen now. Oh, we didn't uh, put on the destination light, actually. Silly me. We didn't put that light on. That is a crime. I meant to put that on. There we go. Now it's on. Right, let's uh, run up. So I try to get it up to about 7 or 8 to begin with. So that should be okay. Should be alright. What's going on? Oh, the brake's still coming off. There you go. Oh, I see, that's annoying there, uh, Pep. Boo. <laughs> right, we are off. Quite a slow beginning. Overload it, that was close. Now, I'll see, uh, Dean. <laughs> Fair enough, Dean. Yeah, that's what, 200 miles or so? How you doing, Luke? So that's where the Nordenham branch joins up. Hello, Yanis. So you, you, we might start seeing 425s now. <laughs> Physics seem very questionable. Not sure they break that sharp. Don't know, they might. They might. If it keeps holding on the brake, it will obviously apply more pressure. Possibly. I it's an old low cut as well. And get that fully up to, I think, probably 28. That should be all right. There we go. And we're off. You really can feel the speed on this train, though. Feels like we're going about 200 miles an hour in this. But it feels like you don't have much control of it. So our top speed is 140, so we can't actually go up and enjoy the 160. Should we get a flyby shot? Let's get a flyby shot. So we're going probably about 70 miles an hour uh, at the moment. Oh, and there's the press 155. Lovely. I bet the CIFA's gone off, hasn't it? Of course it did. Of course it bloody did. When we're getting our nice little shot, the CIFA goes off. I don't know, you can't hear it on this one too well. Come on, train. As long as we haven't come to a full stop. Bloody hell. <laughs> Fair enough here. Come on, train. Speed up. You, you can't really hear the, spit, uh, the uh, safety systems from inside this, which is probably a, a bug at the moment. It's a bit like a train sim classic thing where you can't hear the system from the outside view. Well, let's run that up again. Try not to overload it. There you go, that would do. There's a 612 there, stuck behind that freight train. That's flying along. This is B Bukholzberg. Bukholzberg. Which we're about to go through. <laughs> Fair enough, Pep. There's a Scalrup, Scalrup something station next. And then the camp place. 
and uh, and all uh, Delmen. Too far. Next station is quite close. They're all fairly close, but I'm just a bit. Yeah, thanks all for uh, coming in. Oh, hang on. What's that doing? What's the banana train I'm doing? I don't know. Just a 182, just a just bullet 182 on its own. There's some weird movements on here which drove us snuck in. For it, you will need, well, the Bullock 182, Navica Dresden, Hubstrecker Rhymer of the 101, and Navica Dresden and uh, Dresden Chemnitz. There's a few requirements if you want all of the services. But you still get a lot of sort of base trains though. Now that's what the main workhorse. And Castle Versberg for the uh, DBBR 401 services. This is that one beginning with S. Or something. Fair enough, then. Yeah, it's quite a boring bit, isn't it, between Peterborough and Hitchin. I personally, I, it's always a slow slog. It's like 60 minutes when you're on the side one, on TS. You don't see it at all. That all fun south of Peterborough. I find the Hitchens people a bit on Trent a bit sort of a... No, I see, yeah, they... Might as well get that. Another train already at a 187. That's a lot of fuel. No, I see, too, I see. Hello, Crystal. Yeah, I just have to uninstall pretty much all of my uh, UK DLC. And a hoi, hoi, hoi and camp. Hoi and camp. Nah, no, that's only a hoi and camp. I'll forget that. Let's run that down. So that's all. Just coast it. So you didn't get electrified, did it, until, uh, what was it, I can't remember now. Yeah, you get electrified until quite late. Especially the bomb was broken. Yeah. They're yeah, coming into Delman Horse, so that's sort of the last third of the route to uh, Bremen. It's a little bit hazier, so it might be a bit of rain soon. I don't know those shit. Yeah, Fair enough, that works for a good good reason, I suppose, isn't it? So. Fair enough for you. It loves being foggy on this route. It happened uh, on the last stream for sort of the first, the last half, it was just foggy the whole time. And the cool thing now, what they're doing with the route map collector. Let me out. Yeah, the cool thing they now do with the route map collectibles is. I, I want to shut that door, okay. They actually make it the sort of realistic looking one. 
which I like that. So the sort of the boring blue standard TSW one. Now they've actually got the proper sort of map on there, so you can see sort of where all the other places are, where it goes. And obviously the bit highlighted in red is what you can drive. So I like that. I bet that what they did on the cross city line, they had um, the cross city sort of highlighted in orange and the rest sort of greyed out, but then you could still see it on the real map. Right, let's uh, let's start running it up. It's up to about seven or eight to begin with. A little bit more, and we're off. Next station is Bremen Hauptbahnhof. It's very quiet this end as well. We're getting powered from the other end. It's pretty much the old Dosto. This is. Oh, that was close to overcharging. It really is all gloomy, isn't it? Well, it might even actually start snowing, mightn't it? Because I think it was like below freezing, the temperature on here. So we might see some snow. It really is uh, gloomy and dark. But I, I like it, though. It's very atmospheric, as it is a December morning. And quite a lot of the time, recently, it has been like this, hasn't it? All foggy and... Hazy and overcast, and a bit murky. Pea soup. Does the middle screen come on? Uh, no. It, you would think it might come on, but no, it doesn't. It would be like the um, Yebo, Yep, Ebula, Ebula on there. Maybe that would be on there. Yeah, Ebula. We are flying. I think we might have the wrong pantograph up at the back. Hello, Joe Rather. How are you? From France. How are you? So we're going to go for a station very shortly. The one beginning with H. If you do, uh, yes, if you do overload the train in the 110 and in the MWAR, you can simply go to your main circuit breaker and set it to um, closed. So make it open and set it to closed again, and that will sort it. So main circuit breaker, put it to closed, and you sort it. Straight line all the way to Bremen used to that. I'm fairly quick as well, there's another 110. Go in the opposite direction. On this very foggy morning. You can really feel the speed on this train though, it doesn't feel slow does it? What's the cab light like? Let's run that up a little bit. 
not too far to the 120. So we don't need to go up too much. We'll be going through Bremen this step first. And sort of the weird approach to Bremen, which is really slow and windy and just weird as we're coming up to the main station. I know, I just really... I, I find the approach to Bremen really weird. Such a main state. It's weird. I don't know how to describe it. You've got Bremen Grolland, which that line there goes down to. And actually, that doesn't actually only one for the 120 here. It's a bit weird. So everywhere else there's a warning for you here. There isn't. Hello, Quicko. How are you? Fair enough, what I did is uninstall most British routes. Uh, but you need Dresden Chemnitz for the 612 services, Navica Dresden, so Visa Dresden, for some freight services. Um, you need Hubstrucker Rhine Ruhr with the 101 for the 101 services, and Castle Versberg for, um, for the Ice One services. I think that's it. Fair enough, uh, Dean. Yeah, and uh, Riesa Dresden will also give you the De uh, Deutsche Bundesbahn 363 services. There's the map quick out. Have a little pause if you want. And there's a 16. Down in time for it. Firefighting simulator? Um, probably not. No, I did say they'd put me on like a list, but then, well, probably not. So, no, but I'm not too fast. As we've had this all day, so that's just the main thing we do. So, yeah, I'll probably pick up on a sale at some point. Still got um, it tapped up a little bit. Do I recommend the route? Uh, that's really up to you to decide, really, Pixie. I'd say if you want a challenge, then yeah. But for the most part, it's up to you. If you're in, if you're enjoying what you're watching, route-wise, then uh, you'll probably want it. If you if you're not enjoying it, then well, you probably don't want to get it. Etc. Hello, Pete. How are you? How are you getting on with the route, Pete? We're almost done now. How you doing? <laughs> Sounds good, uh, Dean. Sounds good. More than welcome to. Does the route have any branches? No. The Nordenham branch isn't in. That goes from Huda, Huda to uh, Nordenham. Which is, I think, uh, some people were expecting that, but um, no, that's not it. I think that does go on for quite a bit more. So. Oh, I see, Pete. 
Uh, you've probably overcharged it, so what you need to do is um, go to your main circuit breaker. Same with the M Wagon 110. Go to the main circuit breaker and just set it to closed again. You just need to reset the circuit breaker. Send me the images, Pete. The correct ones, not those other ones. On the Discord and chat. Or if you're in chat, do that. That's awesome as we come in. Look at that. Look at the lighting there. Sounds good, Dave. Do you think the train will be delayed when it's minus four degrees? Uh, well, it depends, really. It depends if it's snowing as well. It's supposed to snow, isn't it? Should be awesome. On the 110, it will be next to the pantograph controls. So on here, on the MWAG, and it's there. Uh, on the 110, it's well, it'll be on well these these switches. Yeah, I'll be on the switches to the left. Oh yeah, quicker. We want snow. It's been ages. It's been too long. I think it actually has just started snowing in the game as well. I don't know. It hasn't. Let me show you. Oh, you got it. Awesome. Yeah, just set that to closed every time you overcharge it. And then it will then sort of do something and it fixes it. Uh, yeah, that is going to be everyone. Uh, look at that moody M wagon there. Uh, see ya, Dean. Thanks for coming in, mate. Fair enough. That is going to be it for today's Train Sim World free live stream on the Bremen to Oldenburg. We'll be back on this tomorrow again. Uh, maybe we'll do something in the 101 or the ice one. Uh, but yeah, plenty of content. We did lots of videos earlier and well, almost a three hour live stream earlier. So feel free to check that out if you want to see more of this uh, route. Uh, links can be found in the usual places to the Discord, PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, can you show us the doors? The doors? Uh, I sure can. Uh, you shouldn't have to. Let's check. There's the doors. A bit like the Erosa line coaches. But yeah, see you all and take care. Bye guys.